Did you know that the skin on our eyelids is the thinnest in the entire body? Eyelid has seven layers, and you can easily remember those layers by the mnemonic. Smart students study subjects for new concepts. Skin. Subcutaneous areolar tissue. Striated muscle. Submuscular areolar tissue. Fibrous layer. Non-striated muscle. And conjunctiva. Welcome to the Smart Optometry Academy. Today we'll dive deep into the anatomy and structure of one of the most vital yet often overlooked parts of our body, the eyelids. The eyelids are mobile tissue curtains in front of the eyeballs that protect the eyes from injury and excessive light, while also spreading the tear film and aiding in tear drainage through the lacrimal pump system. Layer 1, the skin. First, we have the skin, which is incredibly elastic and finely textured. As I mentioned earlier, it's the thinnest skin on the body. Its thinness makes it susceptible to swelling or bruising due to its loose attachment to the layers beneath. Layer 2, Subcutaneous Areola Tissue Just beneath the skin, we find the subcutaneous areola tissue. This layer contains no fat and is very loose, which allows it to swell easily in cases of edema or trauma, such as a black eye. Layer 3, the striated muscle layer. Now, let's move to the third layer, the striated muscle. This consists mainly of the orbicularis muscle, which forms a complete oval around the eyelids. This muscle helps close the eyelids and is divided into three parts, the orbital, palpebral, and lacrimal portions. It's controlled by the zygomatic branch of the facial nerve. When there's damage to this nerve, it can result in lagophthalmos, where the eyelid can't close fully, often leading to exposure keratitis. Layer of Submuscular Areola Tissue Beneath the muscle is the submuscular areola tissue, a loose layer of connective tissue. This is where important nerves and blood vessels are located, making it the target for anesthesia injections during procedures on the eyelids. Layer of Fibrous Layer Now, we come to the fibrous layer, the framework that gives the eyelid its structure. This layer is divided into two main parts, the tarsal plate and the septum orbitale. The tarsal plate is a dense connective tissue that provides firmness and shape to the eyelid. Embedded within this plate are the meibomian glands, which are responsible for secreting oils to maintain tear film. The septum orbitale, on the other hand, is a thin membrane that connects the tarsal plate to the bony edges of the eye socket. Layer 6, Non-striated Muscle Layer Next, we have the Muller's Muscle, a layer of non-striated muscle fibers. It plays a role in maintaining eyelid tone and is controlled by sympathetic nerves. In the upper lid, it's connected to the levator muscle, and in the lower lid, it connects to the inferior rectus muscle. Layer 7, Conjunctiva Finally, the innermost layer of the eyelid is the conjunctiva, which lines the inside of the eyelid and comes into contact with the eyeball. This layer has three parts, the marginal, tarsal, and orbital portions. Thank you for watching. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Smart Optometry for more insightful content on eye health. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, and we'll get back to you.